And uh, away they go in the South African Oaks from that 2,450 metre mark. Hila Grande, Igugu, they all got out well enough. Cherry on the Cake is there and Just the Way You Are is there as well. Followed by after those now, Cherry on the Cake just dropped about two or three lengths off the leader. Mile Lodge is back along the inside and Stormy Coast runs behind them. They five lengths off those leaders right now. Keep On Dreaming is also further back in the field and they back about seven or eight lengths from the leader leader is the head past the 2,000 meter marker now and I see Microjet is inside of runners. Princess of Light leads the way by three lengths to Igugu in the blue cap racing in second just the way you are is now back in the third position. Being followed by Ma Lodge who races in the fourth spot and Ila Grande is in the black body and they about seven or eight off the leader. Microjet is back along there inside and Stormy Coast is further back in the field. Cherry on the cake is still outside of runners and keep on dreaming is the trailer the South African Oaks field continues to move along to the 1400 meter mark and Princess of Light leads the way. Igugu is still in the second spot and she's racing along two lengths behind the leader just the way you are is back in the third position now being followed by Mar Lodge in a red cap. Hilla Grande is about five lengths off that leader then Cherry on the cake who's on its outside. Microjet is further back in the field. Stormy Coast runs behind those and they about seven off the leader and keep on dreaming is at the back end of the field. They are about to turn for home in the SA Oaks now. They have 900 to go. Princess of Light continues to lead the way. Igugu is travelling on the bit in the second spot and she's about to hit the front now with about 700 metres to go as they come around the turn. In third is just the way you are. She's in the white colours and she's looking to chase off to the leader early. Then there are three more lengths back to Mar Lodge who runs behind that. But Igugu can wait no more as they go to the 600 meter marker and she's come through to pick it up Princess of Light is still a little bit of a bother in the second spot there's a length between them and then there's got to be a mile away to the third or Susila Grande but it's Igugu as they come to the 300 meter marker it now goes three or four lengths clear Princess of Light is in the second spot five more lengths away to Ila Grande who's back in third but it's Igugu and I get the feeling that she's pining for some glow trotting Igugu going to win by six lengths as they go to the line Princess of Light was second in third is Ila Grande Mar Lodge was in behind those followed by Stormy Coast further back in the field Microjet ran behind those and just the way you are was further back in running but Igugu is just too good well, we've just witnessed a truly momentous occasion over here. Number one, Igugu comes through as the first filly in South African history to win the Triple Tiara. Of course, trainer Michael de Kock has won the Triple Crown before, the only trainer in South Africa to have won the Triple Crown, and he's come through to score in the Triple Tiara as well. Anthony Dolpesh, well, you know, the pressure's always on with top fillies. I mean, a lot of people will say, oh, but they armchair rides. It's never that easy. Yeah, I, I had a lot of pressure today. I, I knew I'd run the best horse in the race. But, you know, so many things can go wrong in a race, and uh, I just hope that right, right Igugu turned up on the day, you know, and you, she just showed you how classy she is. She's, she will even be better if I have a quicker run race in, uh, so she can really show you her stamina. Oh, she's superb. What can I say? She's just brilliant. She started sweating up a little bit behind the stalls. Were you a little bit concerned about that? No, I, I, I was concerned that she wasn't sweating up. She has oh, to sweat okay. up. She, that's her. That's her nature. So, actually, early on, she was very dry in the parade ring, and I was hoping that she was going to start sweating up because that's her, that's the way she is, she's a bit of, gets a little bit uptight but yeah, it's only a pleasure riding horses like that, I don't think uh, in my career I'll, I'll ride a good filly as good as this. Huh? Well congratulations to you and uh, I suppose being part of history, the making of it? Well you know what, it's fantastic you know, to win all three legs, me riding her all the time. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'll do it again in my career. You only come across those horses once in a lifetime, you know. Horse Chestnut obviously did it for the Colts, and, and now Mike does it with the filly. He's a legend. What can oh, I say? Absolutely. Congratulations. Anthony, don't run away. I've got William Seller here from the Racing Association to give you your memento for the SA Oaks. Winner of the SA Oaks is the Australian bred number one, Igugu. Thank you to Jockey Anthony Dalpesh. Mike DeCock, let's just bring you in quickly. I mean, the pressure's always on. 
because you never knew if she was going to get the 2450. But over and above that, even if you did think, there was going to be no pace. And that's always a, a concern in these long distance races. Sure, you know, look, I don't think the pace was as much of a concern because we were happy to do it uh, in front. I had an idea that uh, they would try and make it hot for it to, to make her stay, so I wasn't that um, worried. Um, but, you know, certainly just a privilege to work with horses like this. You know the pressure yourself. I mean, you went through it last year. It's not easy. Um, it takes special horses. I don't, I don't care what they beat to win at these three different, these three different distances over this period of time. It's something I follow you know, a lot in America, reading what they do and don't do between um, uh, triple crown races there and there's been a number, number of horses that do the two legs and fail in the last and uh, you know I think a few, you know, I've learned a few lessons having had horse chestnut and watching what, what gets done in America and just reading up about what people do there in between the races. But uh, as I said, a privilege to deal with horses like this. Um, it's fantastic for the public. It's fantastic for racing. I'm really happy for Mr. McDonald. I'm really happy for Sheikh Mohammed and, uh, and, and everyone that's, that's been concerned with this filly. The, the, the team love her at home. I think my son uh, is absolutely infatuated by her. He's loved her from day dot. But certainly it's, uh, it's a massive team effort that's great for us all and, and, and fantastic for, for racing. I'm sorry to relieve Pumalela of a million, but I saved you a million last year. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, Mark, what's her next step? Um, she'll run in the Willabington if she pulls up well. Um, I mean, I have every confidence she will. And then she'll run in the July. So, um, uh, you know, she will be entered at the next stage, uh, provided she's in good health. Okay, last question to you. You've trained some of the top horses, not only in South Africa, but around the world. How good is she? Yeah, well, she's up there. You know, to start comparing it with different generations is, is tough because none of them ever did this except horse chestnut. So, but I wouldn't slot her in second behind him. So, um, but she's, you know, she's got to be up there with, with uh, some of the best fillies I've ever trained. You know, I'm not saying she's an Ipitombi. I see that name's already been used in Cape Town. I think they got a little bit ahead of themselves. Um, but she's, um, you know, she's heading, she's heading that way. Congratulations. Well done to trainer Mark de Kock, William Seller with your memento for the SA Oaks. Andre Mac. Donald. Judy, what can I say? <laughs> well, can I say, let them move out the way. Joyce, come in here because Mr. and Mrs. Mack, they've been long standing owners in the game. First time you've ever got a filly like Judy, this. Judy, I must say thank you for Michael Cock and his team for the wonderful work they've done in this filly. But I must never thank somebody, Johnny Walker. If it wasn't for Johnny Walker, I would never <laughs> bought this horse. I must say thank you, Johnny. Yeah, a million rand is a lot to spend oh. at the time for, for yes, a young... Yeah. Absolutely. Say thank you, Johnny. Who will say thank you, oh, Johnny? <laughs> Mrs. MacDonald, how are the nerves? No, um, I have so much to say and so little. There's so much. Oh, I have to say thank you to Mike and to Diane and to Matthew. He's such a lovely little boy. But honestly, I, I, I'm overpowered. I just don't know what to say. Thank you. Really. Well, it's very emotional. I can see your winning memento. Have a photo taken with the floating trophy because over and above that, we've got Rion Duplessis standing by with your extra one million rand bonus. So there we go. William Sele, get Andre into that photo as well. And the family, it's a family affair. There we go. Turn around. Have your picture taken. A beautiful moment here as Igugu becomes the first filly in South African history to win the SA Triple Tiara. Rion, if we can have you as well. Lovely to have Rion Duplessis on course with us today. And there's that one million rand bonus prize for winning, of course, the SA Phillies Guineas, the SA Phillies Classic, and now the SA Phillies Oaks. Congratulations to Andre Joyce MacDonald, of course, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Maktoun in partnership with them, and uh, a daughter of Galileo bought off the ready-to-run sale two years ago as number one Igugu comes through to win the SA Oaks. So is the groom here? I'm not quite sure if the groom is here. Thanks to uh, the groom. If we can just make way. William, the groom. Turned out Igugu in exceptional style and uh, of course comes through to win the SA Oaks this afternoon and the filly that wins the SA Triple Tiara as well. Well that rounds off the SA Oaks, the Grade 2 event. We move on to the Grade 1 now, the SA Derby.